Hello everyone. Custom expression maps now includes a VST preset instrument. This video will show you where to install the preset instrument for the custom expression maps. Before we start, for those who got to this video from search engines, this is where you can download the custom expression maps. Open up a browser just type www.arpegia.com then under musicians zone there is expression maps click on that and that will bring you to this page here you can find standard expression maps and then if you scroll down we have uh, custom expression maps. This is the video you're watching right now. And these are a few uh, custom expression maps and more uh, will be added in the future. For this video, I will download Hollywood Choir for a play instrument. And then we can download Metropolis Arc 3 for contact player. Once the custom expression maps are downloaded we need to extract there are zip files let me just minimize this a little bit so for this video I will uh, drag them to my desktop and we can close this and then I'm gonna extract them here Once the extraction is complete, if I go inside the folders, this is Hollywood Choir. You can see we have attribute expression uh, type and then direction expression type. You can have this anywhere in your computer. I have mine under project hard drive custom expression maps and mine are set in, in the same folder for uh, easy access but you can have them whatever you like and then we have a VST preset folder which includes all the uh, presets, instrument presets so what we need to do is open up a new file explorer and we have to find a VST3 preset folder. If you're on Windows, you will find it under Documents. If you click on Documents, we have VST3 presets. Now, if we go inside there, then we have East West, and then inside it's Play, and then you can just copy, copy or just drag everything to this folder. All the play player instruments should be under East West Play folder. And then you can open the other expression maps. Now this one has an extra folder here. So these are the multi articulations under it's exactly how they show inside the player uh, under the exactly folders you can find them ex you know for easy access now each one has an attribute and direction articulation type if you go in there and also a VST preset so for an easy installation I created another folder which will give you all the presets in one folder so you can highlight it, all of them in one and then we go to native instruments contact 5 and then again copy or drag them into this folder I want to point something else here if you new to Cubase and you don't have any presets saved into Cubase then you're not going to have these two folders. 
So the only folder that you're going to have it's Steinberg Media Technologies. That's the only folder you're going to have in there. Now, to make sure that you create the correct folders, which is really important, otherwise your Cubase will not find your presets. Now, to make sure you have the correct folders under documents and VST presets, let's open up a project. So here I'm going to add two instruments tracks. One is going to be with play and the other one it's going to be with contact. Alright, so let's go to play. You don't have to load any instrument. Just going to go to this icon right here on, on the top where my mouse is. Click on that and click save. So now I'm going to just name this one play and then OK. Now we're going to do the same thing for contact. Open contact. We're not going to load anything. Just going to go to the same icon, save, and then I'm going to name it contact. Okay, now if I minimize this and I'll go back to documents, VST preset, now you see I got the two folders for East West Play and that's the, pr the preset that I just saved. We can just delete that. Go back into Native Instrument, Contact 5, Contact Preset, Delete. So now we have the correct folders. And now we can move those instrument presets to the correct uh, folders. And uh, let's go back to the project and uh, let me show you how to load. You go to the same icon. Now instead of save, we're going to go load. And then sure enough, you know, you can see all the presets that I have in there for um, play. So let's say I want to select uh, all in one. Just click once on that. And now the preset loads and everything is in here. Okay, now I'm going to close this, we go to contact, and same thing here. I'm going to go load preset, and now I have everything for Metropolis Arc 3. So let's say I want to use Horns Ensemble Multi. I'm going to click on that. Now the preset instrument was load it. I'm going to go to the expression maps. I'm going to click on load. So we're going to go to the Hollywood Core attribute. I'll take attribute. I'll take all in one. Open and then load again and then we're going to go to Metropolis Arc 3 multi articulation and that's uh, brass. So we got horns ensemble attribute and then we're going to load old ensemble multi which is this one right here. Open. So now <clears throat> as you can see here we have a lot of articulations. All right, so that's it. Uh, for this video, please follow us on Twitter to get notified when new expression maps are added to this website and YouTube for uh, videos about uh, Cubase tips and etc. Thanks for watching. See you next time.